If you guys have been following the Johnny Depp <laughs> versus Amber Heard trial verdict, we covered it all on this channel. I'll be sure to find the playlist and link the playlist that you can watch it after the live stream. But in any case, Amber Heard went on NBC and she did an exclusive interview, which they have been slowly releasing over the last couple of days. I don't know if you guys have seen any of these clips, but one of the clips stuck out to me. So I'm going to go ahead and bring this in so we can actually watch it together. And then I'm going to give you a quick reaction because I did watch this entire trial. Okay, I heard the evidence. I saw the evidence. I saw the witness testimony. And so you guys can give me your thoughts, but I will also uh go through and give you mine all right so i'm turning this up the volume was a little bit low on my end when i was playing this initially but i'm going to turn on the captions just so we make sure we can all read and see what is happening all right so um the interviewer is asking about how amber heard you know i heard that you had instigated violence via the evidence that we heard during the trial all right let's keep going physical violence did you i never had to instigate it i responded to it when you're living in violence and it becomes it becomes normal, as I testified to, you have to adapt. You say you were responding, but there are, is evidence. There are tapes in which you acknowledge hitting. There okay, in case you guys can't hear that quite as well. So um, in response, Amber just said there's context, right? There was more that basically the jury didn't get to hear that was played. And so now um, the interviewer is asking, you know, you acknowledged in the audio tapes that you in fact did hit Johnny Depp and that you engaged in physical violence. There are tapes in which you say, I started the fight. I know much has been made of, of these audio tapes. They were first leaked online after being uh, edited. What you would hear in those clips are not evidence of what was happening. It was evidence of a negotiation of how to talk about that with your abuser. But I am looking at a transcript that says, he says, you start physical fights and you say, I did start a physical fight. I can't promise you I won't get physical again. I mean, this is in black and white. I understand. Yeah, I mean, guys, and, you know, real quick, we, the verdict and the outcome was that, you know, both sides won, Johnny Depp won way more, right? So he won uh, 10.35 million. There was a limit in Virginia to the, um, uh, not the compensatory, the punitive damages. So there was 15 million awarded, but the total walk away for him was 10.35. And then Amber Heard was successful on one of her defamation claims in the amount of 2 million. So as far as defamation, the jury found that they had equally, or they had both defamed each other. But obviously the underlying question was, had there been abuse? And had there been abuse specifically by Johnny Depp? And across the board, the jury determined that there had not been a single instance of abuse in any way, right? So that does include not only physical violence, sexual violence, but verbal abuse. And so across the board, that is what the jury found. So going back now. Context. But you're testifying and you're just telling me today, I never started a physical fight. And here you are on tape saying you did as I testified on the stand about this, is that when your life is at risk, not only will you take the blame for things that you shouldn't take the blame for, but when you're in an abusive dynamic, psychologically, emotionally, and physically, you don't have the resources that say you or I do with the luxury of saying, hey, this is black and white, because it's anything but when you're Okay, let's take that for a second. You know, um, I believe that to be true. I do believe that to be true when it comes to um, victims, um, you know, of, of violence, right? Domestic violence, sexual violence, that there can be a tendency to do things to deal with the perpetrator. So I think what she is saying is accurate in general. But where the problem lies for me is that, you know, having actually watched the entire trial and seen all the evidence and heard all of the evidence, it kind of falls flat because whereas we did hear multiple instances of Amber Heard being, um, you know, admitting to being physically violent with Johnny Depp, right? So like he was the domestic violent victim. Um, we didn't hear a single piece of evidence or see, see a single piece of evidence where Johnny Depp talked about, you know, uh, abusing Amber. Right. So that's where a big problem lies here. OK, but let's go. Let's go back. So we'll continue. There's just a, a, about a minute left for Amber Heard. You're living in it. 
But then there are other times, there's another tape where you're taunting him and saying, oh, tell the world, Johnny Depp, I, a man, am a victim of domestic violence. 20 second clips or the transcripts of them are not representative of even the two hours or the three hours that those clips are excerpt from. Could your side have just put the whole three hours in then? Boom. All right, I'll let I'll let Amber respond to that. But I mean, look, good question. So Amber saying you don't know the context, you didn't hear all the other stuff. So just because you heard me saying, yes, I hit you, stop being a baby, right? Um, you didn't hear the rest of it. And so then, of course, the question and response to that is, well, couldn't your attorneys have allowed it to play? We had obviously six weeks of trial and you had three of those weeks to present anything, any witness, any evidence. Let's see what she says. I'm not a lawyer. As I testified to, I was talking in those recordings as a person, an extreme amount of emotional, psychological, and physical distress. He and says he never hit you. Yeah, so, you know, I heard, I heard um, Amber, you know, use that when Camille was cross-examining her um, a couple of times as far as to be like, you know, you have not presented, for example, medical records to the extent that you had a broken nose and, and you know, black eyes and this and that. You haven't presented medical records. And so Amber seemed to continue to go back to this thing of, I gave my attorneys everything. If you don't have it, it's not my fault. It's because apparently my attorneys didn't submit it for trial, which quite frankly would be malpractice. And if that happens, that's a very bad thing for her attorneys. But I think that, you know, unfortunately that evidence just simply didn't exist. Um, so in any case, I thought we would just kind of touch on that because we have been, you know, covering this on our last live stream. We had Timothy M. Collier on for some legal analysis, talking about, you know, the statements that were made by the attorneys for Amber and Johnny after trial. Right, doing these interviews and kind of shit talking, at least on on Amber Heard's side of things, <laughs> and so uh, talking about you know the repercussions or potential repercussions of that. <laughs> 